Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm in the kitchen garden at Bidolf Grange. This is a National Trust property in Stoke-on-Trent or near Stoke-on-Trent. Um, and um, it's quite well known for its gardens from various countries around the world. But I thought I'd start down here in the kitchen garden. This is the garden that's not so well known. There's a talking of things from around the world. Look, there's a fig tree there. There's a fig growing. So we'll have a little look around here. It's sort of gardens on that side, and it's like an orchard on this side. Have a look through here. You see various plants growing. They've got some some um, raspberries and strawberries growing, and up here is an orchard with some apple trees. So what I thought we'll do is we'll now walk through out of the kitchen garden. We'll go and have a look around the rest of the gardens, the more famous gardens here. But I just thought this bit gets almost a little bit overlooked. And there's some chives growing down there. It gets a little bit overlooked, I thought, so I just thought it'd be nice to start here. There's a pear tree there, pear growing. Obviously not ripe yet, so if we go out of here. We come out of the kitchen garden through the woods and we're going to go and have a look around what really are some of the most amazing gardens I've ever been to. They were created by James Bateman who had made his money from various different things including banking and what he did was he collected plants from around the world and um, he bought them to this garden at Bidolf Grange and then began building various foliefs to sort of mimic different areas of the world. So what we're effectively going to do now is we're going to now go around the world, so to speak. This is uh, the end of the, sh the shop there. This is like a little garden centre. We're going to go up these steps. Now up these steps, just on the left up here, is the Bidolf Grange house which isn't actually National Trust. I believe it's now Luxury Apartments. So as you can see, it says it's privately owned. If we just go to here, you can see part of the grand front of the house. We can see the back of the house quite well. And there is one room you can go in. So we'll go and have a look at that. So this is, um, that's the tea room now. It's a very nice cream tea in there. You can sit out on this terrace along here out here and enjoy a cup of tea and um, if you're sitting sort of to this area here you can enjoy views out across the garden so if we go through here we begin to see some of the amazing views over the garden let's have a quick look in here this is the drawing room this is the only room in the house that you can actually go in there's me in the mirror. Um, so there's a very interesting room. Now what, what they're doing, they're currently in a project at the moment. If you look, there's this white wallpaper, which was probably put on at some point, maybe, I don't know, the 1920s. If you look up there, you can see this, they've taken some away and, un and it's revealing the original artwork. And they're gradually doing that. So on that side, they've successfully completed the project, revealing a much more interesting artwork and you can see they've started there and they've started there so eventually perhaps what we'll have to do is come back here in a few years time and see it when it's all done I just want to show you something else because the house became an orthopedic hospital we'll talk more about that that's a picture of the house and there's all these buildings out here which are no longer there there's more pictures everyone in their beds outside on the terrace so um, yeah so the house basically became an orthopaedic hospital and the gardens fell into disrepair but eventually when the hospital closed the gardens were restored so if we stand here look out across there that's the Italian garden which we're now gonna go down into the Italian garden and um, have a, a look around the rest of the garden so it's not a particularly huge site here but it's very interesting in that there's lots of areas all almost on top of each other. 
it's um it's really a fascinating site so i'm not going to show you everything in the gardens because there is a lot to see but i'm going to show you the best bits the bits that make you think oh, i really want to go there and see these gardens for myself so now when, when most people get to here most people tend to be drawn that way i'm going to take you this because again i'm just i like to go not go with the flow so to speak and we come down and we're in this beautiful lime tree avenue so what we'll do we shall walk along here it sort of almost gives the impression that it could have been a drive to somewhere but going by the fact that it kind of ends a bit abruptly there i don't think this ever was a driveway to the house i think this is purely was created purely for what i'm doing just strolling along here um, and enjoying it. So this, it was all created in sort of the 1840s so it's um, you know fairly modern compared to some National Trust properties. It's not like one of these really old ones, some of the other places that we've been to you know that go back quite a long time. It's um, really it's a Victorian creation but no doubt it's um, very interesting one. So as we approach the end of the Lime Avenue, you can see there's some big gates up here. We're going to go round behind all these rhododendrons where there are some more gardens. And um, what we will do is we'll probably end this video when we get round there to the lake. And then we'll do perhaps part two and part three. We'll come a couple of days later. So we get to these big gates here go along here and that says look garden entrance out there's the wider parkland which is a national trust so we come up up here this this kind of surprises around the corner around every corner here you never quite know as you walk down these sort of narrow paths you never quite know what you're going to come across next um, so like here it opens up into this area here ice cream from there earlier now if you look here it's quite funny what they've done they've created a maze with um, bits of dead grass I don't I think I'll give that a miss today I mean it's the sort of thing I usually enjoy doing there's the house over there we're now gonna go through here because it is the only other way out of here through more rhododendrons Lots of rocks. Must have been an interesting seeing this place being created, all these rocks being moved. And there you have a beautiful view of the house looking across the lake. That path there is interesting. We'll do that one it's in the next video. It's getting a bit windy. I think it's going to rain soon. Hence why I waited for everyone else to go home before making this video because it's quite busy out here. It's actually such a lovely view of the lake as you approach approach the house. What we're going to do, we go over to the other side of the lake and um, then we'll, um, I'll tell you where we'll, we'll f finish this one, we'll do something exciting before we finish it and then in the next video do something else exciting and in the final video we'll do something really really exciting. So as we come through here, um, let's have a little yeah, so up here are the formal gardens. So we'll have a quick look up here now, I think. That's cool. I love that. See that up there? You can see people just appear out of nowhere. Like there's obviously another path going up there. We might see that in a later video. We go up, up these steps. We're back in front of the house. That's where that the drawing room was we went in. We've got this formal garden. If we go around here, funny this bit, there's all sorts of different rooms of formal gardens. So you walk around the corner, well, this one looks like it's being replanted. So then we come around here, you've got another kind of formal garden. And finally, another formal garden. Well this one isn't so formal really, it's a bit, still nice though. But over the other side of that hedge are more formal gardens, but to get to them, 
it's quite a long way around, so I might, if I don't get to them in any of the videos, um, look out for them in the pictures, which will follow after the videos. This is a good view of the house here. So I believe the house is now luxury apartments. So unfortunately, that means we can't go inside except the drawing room, and part of it is the, the tea room. If we go down here to walk back to the lake again, I want to show you something, and then we're effectively going to go from one type of garden to another. There's a very exciting way of doing that. Let's just go and look and see if we can see any fish. There's some huge fish in here, and you can actually buy little packets of fish food, oh, because the ducks are fighting them. Um, so, yeah, there's some lots of fish in here but because no one's feeding them none of them have come to the surface which is a bit of a shame but there were some you know some that were more than a foot long earlier on so it was quite it was quite exciting seeing all these fish and um, they were really kind of going mad over the food you might see some fish don't strike me I don't know if you can just see just see some orange fish there but there were some you know really really quite large fish in there which was you know nice to see lots of big koi carps and gold north you get a lovely view of the house and the lake and now this is where it gets exciting we go into the rocks and the rhododendrons and it feels like you know sort of in this sort of ravine, the river from the lake kind of wind its way up up there. Now the really 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 exciting part of the gardens is that way. We're gonna do that in a later video. I'm gonna take you this way because this is also exciting but I'm leaving the most exciting part for later. Go through these rocks here and we get to here. That path takes us back to the tennis lawn and the lake but look what we have here. Dark dark tunnel so let's go through it. So, we've just been through the dark, dark tunnel, and it's like we're in a completely different garden. Here's the tunnel over there. This is an area known as the Pintum. So what I think I'll do is um, this path kind of winds its way round to some more interesting parts of the garden, an area known as the Cheshire Cottage, which I think I'll show you in a later video. So what I'm gonna do, is um go have a look up here because i haven't actually been up this way yet admittedly um so this is kind of new for me i don't know what i'm going to find we'll probably go through here and then there's another nice garden um coming into this lovely open space and here i think um i'll end this video but over the other side of those hills on trees there's some really amazing gardens, it's sort of almost like no other. So I hope you enjoyed this video from Bidolf Grange. Thank you very much for watching me and look out for part two and part three. There's a lot more to come. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.